Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here at the AES show in New York. I'm with Ryan from Radial Engineering. As usual, Radial have got an enormous number of products on display here at the show. Uh, Ryan's going to talk us through three of the new ones. Ryan. Absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> first, we have the uh, SAT2 or the SAT2, uh, basic stereo attenuator, completely passive. Um, so what this is going to be used for is uh, small desktop studios and things like that uh, where people are just coming out of their DAW into their powered monitors but they don't have any sort of um, volume control, right? So you have balance XLR in, balance TRS in, and then XLR output to go to the monitors. On the front we have uh, mono sum which is very convenient um, to, uh, to check your mixes on for phase. Uh, you have a mute as well as a variable dim, uh, dim control here and then your master volume knob. Uh, another use for the SAT2 would be to uh, tame any hot output. So if you're maybe uh, saturating a, a preamp or something like that, uh, but you don't want to overload the inputs of your, of your ADD converters, you can use this to attenuate uh, the signal between the preamplifier and its saturation um, to get that, that, that colorful sound um, and the inputs of your DAW. So um, the SAT2 or SE T2, as I like to call it, uh, is looking at uh, 99 uh, US street price. So. That's new Very and shipping. Cool. Yeah. And then we have the uh, Mix 2 to 1, so another kind of um, studio centric uh, utility tool. Um, what this allows you to do is take two mono sources. So, for instance, you can blend two different preamps and come out um, mono. So, <clears throat> you have two preamps come out as a single, uh, single output uh, to uh, blend before you get into your DAW, or if you're running out of um, channels and things like that, and uh, in a live situation, you can use this to, to auto sum into one single output. So if you had like two mics on a guitar cab or two mics on a snare drum, you might run them both in there and track one signal. Absolutely, and the cool thing is is that we uh, we designed it with the intention of uh, using it for line level outputs, but we uh, we rig rigorously tested it and uh, with microphones as well, so any dynamic microphone, um, you'll be able to sum it before the preamp, which is very cool. So you have uh, input level controls, um, on selections, and then you also have um, a level control bypass. So if you just want to take um, a stereo output of a console, for instance, and use that as a submix to, to another uh, single input, um, you can bypass the level controls and you get equal summing on each side. Uh, so street price on the mix two to one, we're looking at uh, 129 US. Very cool.